Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. And today I have a special guest with me, Kira Jones from State Farm Insurance. And we're gonna be talking about what to do if your insurance gets canceled. So that's the big scary thing that everyone's hearing about on the news right now. And you know, what does someone do if they get that cancellation notice in the mail? Well, first of all, it might not be something you've done, right? So read the letter really carefully to find out why you're being canceled. And oftentimes right in the letter, there might be something you can do to keep the policy in place. So it might be because of your roof. It might be because of something with your electrical or plumbing. And so read the letter and find out why, first of all, you're being canceled. And if there's something you can do to keep that policy. We have a lot of folks though that it's beyond their control. We've had carriers just leaving California or leaving selling certain types of of, of business. So if you get a letter canceling your policy, the first thing I, I recommend is immediately, even if you have months, start shopping so that you know what options are out there for you and you know what the price point is going to be. And you know, the longer you have for shopping, the more you can make sure you have the right coverage at the best price. And how can someone prevent themselves from being canceled? Well, and like I said, sometimes it's beyond your control, right? Companies are completely leaving the state. So sometimes you can't do anything. But of course, insurance is for a disastrous situation. You don't want to just file a claim for just every little random thing. You can only have so many claims before insurance companies will cancel you because you're an excessive loss. You're a high risk, right? They're not charging you for the rate that they should because of the number of claims you have. So, you know, one of the best ways is to only use your insurance when you absolutely need it. And if you have questions about whether or not to put a claim in or if it's gonna be high enough, you know, call your insurance professional. That's what they're there for. They'll answer you, they'll answer those questions. They'll go through what's covered and what's not and whether it makes sense for you to put in a claim. The other things you need to do is, you know, try to avoid having claims altogether, right? So fix your sidewalk, fix your driveway, you know, make sure your roof is in top maintenance, you know, look for those preventative maintenance types of things to avoid having a claim to start with. That's the number one thing you should do. I hear that a lot when I do hear people getting cancellation notices, it's usually because a drone was sent over a house and the roof was in disrepair, or maybe trees needed to be cut back from a property, things like that. Yeah, and you know, what, what you're doing, first of all, you're maintaining your house so you don't have bigger bills in the future yourself. And you're, you're protecting your asset and you're avoiding other claims. You know, I was kind of talking about liability claims with the sidewalk, but you know, leaks from the roof ceiling and you know, tree roots, you know, just properly maintaining your landscaping and your roof will really go a long way to prevent you from being canceled. Great, and if you have any questions, where would people reach you? Well, the easiest way is to go to my website, kierjones.com, or you can call us anytime, 562-433-5573. And of course, you can reach me at 562-316-2915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching, and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.